Hello everyone, this is another video from Easy Electric series and today we are going to learn how you could design and print a PVC elbow in Fusion 360. Stay tuned. So today we want to design a PVC elbow, so something like this, using the sweep command that we learned in our previous class. So let's to see how we could do that. So as usual, we come to the new design. I'm going to choose the XY axis, so I'm going to create a new sketch over there. So here we need actually the three circle. So let's to go to the center one. Let to actually choose first one. Let to do the forty. So the second one I'm going to choose is forty. Let to if the thickness will be six millimeter. Let to do three by three. So that means next should one next one should be forty three. And the other one should be actually 37. So I'm coming here and say 37, enter. So now we actually have these three circle. Now we are looking to draw the pass for the sweep comment. So I finish that here. So comes here on the uh, Z X plane. So say create the new sketch. So let us see that to redo that it looks is not go through. So now it's good. So now here I just want to show the pass for the sweep comment. So let we start with uh, the square. So or let to do the two point rectangle and let to do 70 tab 70. 70 70 enter so if you zoom and it's okay so this is what we have so now we should do let to do the fillet so let to do fillet this side and this side so let to see let to say 40 for fillet so this is somehow is a pass for the sweep comment, so I say enter. So now I'm going to cut this and also this, but whenever you cut that too, so somehow your scratch is not constrained, so because somehow you lost the dimension between here to here, but it's not a big deal, we are going to <clears throat> add the dimension, so let's just say here, to here for sure should be 70. I add that there in turn now it is fully constrained. So that means I have my pass is ready. So let to finish this, go to the home. So now first I'm going to have the whole elbow. So I'm coming here, say sweep. So single for select, definitely I should actually select the whole Two, two circle that I have and the pass should be this one so as you could see now I have uh, I have the elbow so see this is my to zoom that a little bit so now I have my elbow so now let to see what we could do so now I need actually here and let I turn on this one. So now this one somehow should go in, right? So I comes to select this one, this circle, and say extrude. So I extrude that 20. So it goes 20 down. Definitely it's cut and say OK. So now let to back here and go home and you see what's happened here. We actually caught that uh, for a 20 to go actually inside. That's actually, this is what we want to have. Now we should do the same thing here. 
So let's just say create a sketch. I want to actually have these sketch. So if you remember, if you actually, if you back here in a sketch one and edit a sketch one, you see what we did. So we did actually, we stopped with 40, 43, 37. So we are going to do the same thing to finish this back home here. So we select the whole this as a sketch tree. So now I could say edit the sketch. So now I'm going to draw a circle and the center circle should be let us see, should be around the 40, right? So if I say 40, this is actually what we had. We have this one is 43, this one 37. So now for this one, I finished this sketch. So now I should this time this the out. The second one should be cutted. I select the, let to zoom a little more. I select it comes to the extrude and say this time negative 20. I cut it negative 20, it is cut. I say select and see what we got here. So this is what we want. So this is somehow is the other side of that. So as you could see here, the outer layer cut for 30 millimeter. Here is opposite that the inner layer. So cut for uh, 30 millimeter and its length is 20. So it looks we actually got our elbow using the sweep command. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching this video.